Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Digital Painter Vidcast. My name is Terry Danich Kimiak II, and I am the Digital Painter. And I want to welcome everybody back this week. We're actually going to be exploring a brand new program that I was just introduced to. But before we get to that, I want to remind you, check out, if you're watching this on YouTube, check out www thedigitalpainter.com. That's the website. It's got all the fun things on it. And um, if you are, if this is your first video you're watching of mine, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join me as I put out videos usually once a week, uh, sometimes more often, such as in the summertime, sometimes less often when things are going crazy at my full-time day job, which will be happening here in the next couple of weeks. Um, that's really all I'm going to say about anything there. Good. Well, why don't we move on? All right, so I was sent a message recently to check out a program called Media Bang Paint. Now this is a program I've never used before. It's coming out of Japan, I guess. And I'll be honest, I have not done a ton of exploring. In fact, you're gonna be exploring it with me a little bit today. Uh, I may make a second video depending on how far I get today. I don't want this video to run too long, but I did want to look at it because it looks interesting. And it's really nice for those people that are looking for free video or free art programs. So let's click here. There we go. So this is the website. I went over to it and downloaded the program. You can see here uh, they've got it for PC, Win, Mac, iPad, iPhone, Android. I have only downloaded it so far for the PC. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Like I said, it's free. So when you click up there, there's the download. I'm going to be doing 64-bit. And um, I looked through the website a little bit. Again, it's out of Japan. I don't know a ton about it. A lot of manga type stuff and Japanese uh, words that I can't read. So if you're Japanese, this website is probably a little more interesting than, or if you can read Japanese, probably a little more interesting than for me. So why don't we go ahead and begin our exploration? So I've already opened it and here it is. This is what you see. Similar to just about every other art app, art program for the PC. Nothing, you know, real new here. You've got brush preview, you've got brush control, you've got your layer palette, navigator, all of your buttons, um, the types of brushes down here on the bottom left. So it's nothing that, you know, when you when you look at it, you're not going, oh, this is so much different than everything else. It's, it's not. So let's begin there uh, because I don't want people thinking that this is a stunningly different type program. First thing we do is we do a new, now I've got one open, but we're gonna go ahead and open it. We're gonna do a new one here, right? Okay, you've got, notice you got two tabs up here. You've got standard and comic. I haven't played with the comic yet, uh, but I guess you can set it up in comic form. So if you're doing comics, that's kind of nice. But the standard, you know, the usual by pixel or inch, uh, you can reverse the width and height, which I'm gonna do. Uh, they do have some set in paper sizes, your resolution, um, transparency. So let's actually put the background as white. That way I don't have to fill it in. The initial layer is a color layer. So here we go. And I click OK. And here we go. Here's our image. And I thought <laughs> I flipped this and I didn't. So we're going to see if we can. Whoops. There's Photoshop underneath. It's hiding. So we're going to see if we can't uh, rotate to the right. There we go. I want landscape today. So here we go, we have it open. Again, our layer palette's over here. I'm gonna add another layer because I don't like writing, I don't like drawing on the bottom layer. You do have the ability to lock your layers and protect alphas and clipping and things like that. You've got your blending modes up here, though not as many blending modes as Photoshop, for example, and your opacity and whatnot. Down here, you've got, you know, new layer. Uh, some stuff I haven't played with here. This looks like it's an uh, 8-bit layer. You add a layer 8-bit, add a layer 1-bit, add a layer folder, duplicate layer, merge layer, and then your trash layer. So I've just added a regular layer. Over here, now this is a little different, right? So our brushes are up here, and then here are our brushes. And you see that these are already predetermined type brushes. So for example, this is a stipple pen. Make sure I have the brush tool selected. Okay, it's it's stipply, I guess. Yeah, it is. 
You've got an ink brush here. Which, oh, that's kind of nice. Again, I haven't played with a lot of these yet. This is, this is my first time. I did look at the watercolor. It's very much a digital watercolor. This is not like realistic watercolor. It's manga, right? So it's manga type watercolor. And then you've got a second watercolor that's a little more wet. Um, an acrylic brush, airbrush, blur. You got a finger. This is like taking your finger and pushing things around. This is fun. You've got your sparkle brush. I'm gonna. I want to do an entirely different layer here, right? Because you can't live without a sparkle brush. So here it is. Sparkles. And a quick note: if you hold down Alt and Control, you can change the size. So we can do big sparkles. There we go. And let's do it in a color that would look a little better. There we go. Sparkle of awesome. Um, let's see what else we got. Eraser. I was playing with a G pen earlier, which is actually quite lovely. It's got a little texture to it. So... Uh, when you pick all of these different things, you do have some certain adjustments. And then apparently there are more brushes. If you hit the cloud right here, so you have to log in or sign up. Uh, I haven't done that yet because I just downloaded this today. But you'll see, like, there's different pencils. There's a lead pencil right there. Uh, scroll down. you got a mapping pen. Uh, some speed lines, that's kind of nice if you're doing comic y stuff. So you can see there's a lot of other options in here. And I may get around to logging in and trying out the login to see there's some hatching. But uh, I just haven't done it yet. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and turn that layer off. So there you see, like I said, these are all the. You can play with different things, the scatter strength. You can add a brush. You can add a, a bitmap brush, a script. I, I, honestly, I haven't, again, haven't played with a lot of these. Now, here comes a big one, though. For those of you that really like perspective, they've got actually snapping to perspective up here. So if I click, so you can see I've got it on turned on right now. And if I click the gear, I can. So let's make my horizon roughly here. And then oh that's not <laughs> not exactly what I wanted. Let's try that again. One one and then coming off of it, let's say there. So now if I grab my pen tool or we'll just use pencil, go into black, give myself a layer, it snaps. to that perspective, okay? So that's nice. You also have like a starbursty one. You have circular perspective, or not perspective, but circular snapping. There, of course, is a grid. So you can do very straight lines. And then you've actually got some angled ones that if you edit, you can spin them around and bring them closer and farther and just kind of play with them. Okay, so I thought that was kind of neat, this ability to snap to different settings. Um, you can see here, I, shoot, that's kind of cool. Uh, again, I haven't, this is my first time playing with this, so uh, I don't even know what that does, but it's, it's cool. <laughs> I'm going to have to play with it a little bit. So the real question is, how does it work as a art program, though? Because that's what my focus is, is, is it a good art program? And so I started playing with it earlier. Uh, let's grab myself a new layer. And um, there we go. And I just kind of started sketching. One of the things, I don't have my my shortcut keys mapped to this program. So for example, like zooming in and out right now is really kind of funky. It's not working like I want it to. So I've been having to kind of manually zoom in and out, which 
if you're using a program that you're not used to, uh, it can be, there we go, it can be a little frustrating. I did map undo. I can't, I can't live without undo. That's the one I want. Okay, so if we're looking here, right, and I was just, I was playing around earlier. Again, this is, It's snowy out here, if you're curious, that's kind of why I've got this little snow guy here. As I was working with this earlier, what it really felt like is uh, Photoshop. Um, you know, when you've got your tools set up to do kind of quick sketches, that's really what it felt like. And then, so for example, we'll grab a second layer, take this layer down. And this is where I want to jump to my G pen. Just kind of play with it. One of these days I won't have troubles with chins and cheeks. We'll come back to the chin and cheek for now. There we go. There we go. And then of course I've got to come back in and connect things because I'm I'm goofy like that. I'm like, man, if lines ain't connecting, I get a little angry. And then, you know, if I was gonna paint this, maybe grab the watercolor brush again. It's a very Oh yeah, and I do it on another layer. Do not like that color for hair, do you? Nope. Needs to be brighter. There we go. And again, the, a, a very manga esque feel to it. Oops. So if that's your type of art and you're looking for a free program to play with, uh, or at least to begin to learn on, this might be it, you know. Forgot to finish his goggles. There we go. Now let's grab this wet one. So there's some nice build up that you can do with this. I made him really pink, but I'm okay with that. Nothing wrong with a pink guy. Maybe he just happens to really enjoy the color. And so he got a pink tan.
seems to be some nice mixing going on. You know, if I didn't want it to mix, I would have done it on separate layers. And of course I come back and I erase. And then again, we'll grab this one and grab Now let's try some of the blending. Where's that finger? I don't like the finger. I'm probably not gonna like the blur. So instead, what I tend to do is I come back to here, and I pick mediums between things and blend it that way. All right, so we've got our little comic book guy. Like I said, it looks like an interesting program. I'm going to play with it a little more over the next couple of weeks or a month or when I have some time. And, and I'll, I'll kind of give you an update later on. But this is my, you know, my first impression of this. When I first play with it, I think, you know, for a free program, this is really nice. Uh, the ability to do all these things and all you have to do is download it. Uh, that's that's kind of cool. Until I begin to really kind of go in depth into some of the 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 menu palettes and and what I can do, uh, we'll have to wait and see, right? Uh, comic good. I mean, there's some like I said, there's some really cool things in here that I just I haven't even had a chance to play with yet. So once I get a chance to do that, I'll be able to give you guys a little more information about uh, you know what this can. Extracting lines? Interesting. Like, I don't I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know. How many people on YouTube tell you that? Everybody on YouTube wants the, 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 they, they tell you they know everything. I don't know everything. Um, all right. That's it for this week. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I hope that uh, you're keeping busy doing your art. If you want me to check something out, feel free to leave me a message or, uh, or you know, if you want to learn something more specific than what I've been doing, make sure you send me an email. You can easily do that, terry.jakimiak at thedigitalpainter.com, and I'm more than happy to uh, share what I know with you. So you have a wonderful weekend, and take care.